Hi, my name is Nicole Tang, and I'll be presenting our work, Community, Culture, and Capital, Exploring the Financial Practices of Older Hong Kong Immigrants. Introduction. FinTech can enable financial inclusion, but older adults and immigrants often face additional challenges navigating these systems. This study explores the financial habits and banking needs of older Hong Kong immigrants in Toronto. In the 80s and 90s, Canada saw an influx of migrants from Hong Kong, as a result of political uncertainty leading up to the 1997 handover. We conducted semi-structured interviews with 10 participants between the ages of 58 to 74. Most immigrated to Canada in the 80s and 90s with one arriving in 2016. Recruitment was done by snowball sampling in the researchers networks and through community outreach. Data was then coded and analyzed for themes. Findings. We explored how immigrants chose their first Canadian bank, which was based on four factors recommendations from friends and family, familiarity in their home country, language, and geographic convenience. Participants' attitudes about digital banking were mixed, with some actively using online banking tools and others avoiding them outright due to security risks. Computers were more commonly used than mobile devices. These divergent habits challenged stereotypes about older adults and technology. Banking in Hong Kong was perceived to be more convenient and technologically advanced than in Canada at the time. The abundance of bank branches and early use of the Octopus Transit card made finances more accessible. Hong Kong's cash culture was also stronger, with cash being used more for gifting and dining out. Some dual citizens maintained bank accounts in Hong Kong for travel expenses, gifts, receiving government payouts, and supporting family. Account management was often entrusted to family members. Though international banks were widely present in Hong Kong, these systems did not often integrate well. There are bureaucratic challenges in both closing bank accounts in Hong Kong while overseas and opening bank accounts in Canada without having a fixed address or established credit. Discussion. We highlight several considerations for designing financial services. Existing infrastructures and familiarity with technology like credit and debit cards help facilitate banking adoption in a new country. The use of financial tools requires a high level of trust. Personal finance is still a touchy subject and trust is required for a sense of security and confidence. Immigrant adaptation is based on deep intra-ethnic ties. Friends and family members are frequently involved in financial decisions, settlement patterns, and maintenance of bank accounts back home. The design of financial services and tools cannot be done in isolation. It is important to approach design by evaluating contexts of use, communities, and cultural practices in order to counteract generalizations of older individuals and immigrants. Further work can look more deeply into specific cultural aspects of Hong Kong immigrants, like multi-generational households, language brokering, transnational remittances, and current fintech innovations in both Hong Kong and Canada. Thank you for listening.